Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about basic strumming technique. Um, there's a lot of, there's a whole bunch of variations and guys strum a lot of different ways, but we'll take it with a, with a real basic approach and then you can start building things off of just the, the most basic ideas. Um, the place to, to start with when you're strumming, and you'd be surprised at how few people can do this comfortably, is just to, to play four strums per measure. Say you're going to say you're going to play four strums, you're going to have a, a progression like E major, A major, B7, and back to E major. And just to be able to get, most of you can do this, but some of you might have trouble changing chords, so you want to be able to get to where you can do that. people when I tell them to a beginning student I'll say okay strum each chord four times and they'll come in the next week and they'll go okay I did what you said I, I went like this four strums each right of course the point is to play them rhythmically and not interrupt the rhythm Now, that's incredibly basic. Then if you just stop on one of these chords like E major and just start to go. One of the most basic strumming patterns is, is this pattern right here where you're going, if you think of these as quarter notes, which is to say, uh, count one, one, two, three, four. You're going one, two, Now you'll notice a couple of things about that is that I'm not hitting on every strong beat and I'm also, and this is crucially important when you're going to learn how to strum, uh, to do strumming patterns, is that the vast majority of things that you will try to play, your right hand is always keeping a constant rhythm so that no matter what kind of elaborate pattern you're playing, is always keeping a constant rhythm. So when you're going to play a pattern like this, it always sounds better if you keep the downstroke on the strong beat and the upstrokes on the weak beat, it, rather than go. You know, that sounds lame. And it sounds much, and people can hear it when it's, when it's in that relaxed mode. of the things that you can do. So there's one strumming pattern like this. Two and three and four. One, two and three and four. You can also put a eighth note on the on the fourth beat, which is to say one, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and and if you speed that up. It sounds pretty hip. And then you put that with the progression that I just showed you. Then there's all kinds of variations on that, and if, if you listen to songs that, that you like, very often you'll you'll hear where that beat is, and you'll hear that the that the strong beats are downstrokes, and you can usually, if you keep track of where the rhythm is with your right hand, you can usually pick pick them up pretty well. Another real common basic uh, format is to do it in a three a, a three four count, which is sometimes called waltz time. Take a song like House of the Rising Sun. And you can vary, vary the, uh, the pattern by going one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, like that. add a 
again add that extra eighth note on the third beat. One, two, one, two, and three, and one. So it'll sound like this. And if you accent the eighth note on the second beat, one, two, Place those accents in different places and get a, a nice effect and it really gives a sense of movement when you're playing the, the progression whatever progression you want to do so you'll find that same idea in almost any kind of strumming that you that you run across. There was one I was listening to the other day. Uh, down because that's a that's a very familiar strumming pattern those are 16th notes one e and a two e and a three e and a four and one e and a three e and a four and and what he's what pete does there when he plays that song in the style of pinball wizard he's accenting every third beat so it sounds like a bunch of triplets which it is one, two, three, 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 one yeah, but it actually fits against a four count. One, two, one, two, one, e and a two, e and a three, e and a four, and So if you slow that down, and he's accenting every third beat, so he's accenting a downstroke first, one, once he speeds it up he plays it real real fast uh, I've seen him do live solo recordings where he does even faster than the original recording but uh, that's 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 what he does there all that I'm just doing I'm going my right hand is keeping the rhythm two three four right back where we started it's just it's all just variations off of getting uh, more refined rhythms off of that basic idea so that's something to think about with regard to uh, strumming patterns hope this helps